Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. And, uh, when I last left you guys, uh, our friend, the, the Catholic priest, had been kidnapped by Italian gangsters, I think. Um, so we gotta go rescue him. Uh, so let's go do that. 47, this is Diana Tyler from Agency. There. We're all happy you're back doing business for us. This mutual arrangement we made to rescue your friend and mentor, Father Vittorio, means you will have to take care of a number of Mafia members residing at the Villa Borghese, where he is kept hostage in the basement. Prime target is Don Giuliani. Security is not exactly lax. Plenty of guards roaming the mansion compound. However, don't expect to free Vittorio just like that. The Don is running a tight ship, and if alarmed, he will probably kill the hostage and escape. They're used to people coming to pay respect, ransoms or bribes, but they are alerted by unusual activities. Check out the map we have of the grounds, Bueno Fortuna 47. Right, so that's uh, just the way the game's uh, heavy-handed way of showing you your options. Of course, if you guys have seen my terrorist run, you know that the best option is really just to face it head-on. So I'm just going to run at this grocery boy with a, a dirty rag of anesthetic and see what happens. Get back here, you fucking prick. All right. Get out of the fucking truck. Come on. There you go. Yeah, I did. What? What? What the? What the? Hold on a second. I, I don't think it's supposed to work like that. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Um, I think you're supposed to... I don't... Uh, oh. Huh. <laughs> I guess he didn't feel like stopping, did he? Oh. Uh, what? Huh. Blood is coming out of his back. That's weird. <laughs> he must have... How does that work? Did he, did he like fall on his pen or something? Is that why he's bleeding so much? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Alright, so I, I guess... Uh, I guess we gotta be a little trickier about how we go about this, right? Alright, let's, let's try again. Let's restart the mission. So, uh, what's this guy, the postman? No doubt, paying his respect. I'll do a little dance here with 47. There we go. Actually, it's a, it's, it's a... It's a little trick I'm doing with 47 here. I'll explain it later, I think, in another video. Suffice to say, it's a quick way of sneaking up on people. Because sneaking up on people the normal way is... A huge pain in the ass, if you ask me. It's one of those things that was done away with in later games because it was just so tedious. There we go. And uh, I also did a little trick there where I, I sped up his uh, getting dressed animation by canceling to the map really quickly. It only saves you a couple of seconds, but you can do it with a lot of things. So... These two goons here, uh, they're gonna pat us down, and if they find weapons on us, they will freak out and blow our brains out, so... We gotta get rid of our hardware here. For some reason, 47 feels the need to reload his gun. Alright, let me get rid of our gats. There we go. Pick back up the flowers. Alright, no none of these other things will be picked up by the, uh by the mafiosi at the gate, so we don't have to worry about that. We do have to worry about running, though. We don't want to run too much, because that makes these guys really nervous. Actually, Hitman 2 is a game full of very nervous, very trigger-happy people, so you don't want to run. It's kind of like a pool, but instead of slipping and hitting your head on the linoleum, you get shot in the face. Hey, what? I don't know what you said, buddy, but <laughs> I don't really like your attitude. I, whoa. Whoa, whoa, buddy, yeesh. Are you gonna kiss me first or something? 
Can that guy feel my face? What are you, blind? I, what, do you think I'm hiding something up my nose or something? I, I, I just feel so fucking violated. Ugh. All right. Well, anyway, once you get into the gate, you definitely don't want to run because if anyone sees you running for any reason at all, they will open fire. So there's the Don. He's upstairs. Uh, I don't think he ever comes downstairs. He he goes from that balcony to uh, to his office, back and forth, and that's it. Um, I don't I don't think pushing is a thing in Hitman Two, unlike Blood Money. <laughs> oh, we had so much fun with pushing back in Blood Money, didn't we? Yeah. Well, not in this game. So anyway, assuming you haven't taken a wrong step in the in any direction, you cut here. Oh, grazie dei fiori, li stavamo aspettando. Does she have a name tag? That's weird. Why would a maid have a name tag at a, at a private home? That's kind of So anyway, this guy's going to turn around and that gives us a brief moment to to try to sneak around. Now, I made the mistake of coming through the door thinking that he was going to be turned around, but what? You're the ones of Putana. Well, oh, shit. Ow. Shit. Fuck. Oh, God. So, I'm trying to run away here, and I gotta, I gotta tell you, in Hitman 2, the guards, um, there's very little... Oh, wow, that was a really cool roll. So, of course, I don't have any guns. And, uh, ow. Ow. Ow, it's like a hazing. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wow, 47 is pretty tough. Get a putana, like a putana, putana, yo, vofanculo. Alright. So 47 got the shit kicked out of him. Postman 47. Alright. Um, so, in Blood Money, you could easily disarm anyone. Uh, in Absolution, you could fight people, but in Hitman 2, if you don't have a weapon in your hand, uh, 47's pretty much defenseless. It's kind of, a uh, an odd thing, considering he's supposed to be a super assassin, but hey, there it is. So anyway, sneaking in as the postman is really kind of, uh... I mean, I was looking on YouTube for different, different ways to sneak in. Alright, Th this method of mine isn't mine, it's, it's been done by plenty of people on YouTube. Just full disclosure there. And I've never seen anyone sneak in as the postman. And, and you know, and, and do a decent run, I mean. Not necessarily Silent Assassin, but one that's clean. What I've seen people do is they take out the guard behind this wall here. You know, the thing you gotta do is you gotta wait for him to come through and water the plants. Oh, uh, don't, don't mind me. I'm just a stranger hanging outside of your mob boss's wall. And I see there, I actually canceled uh, the, the, the anesthetic animation with the map, too. So that's pretty useful. And, um, there we go. You gotta make sure to hold down the attack button until the enemy is completely knocked out. Because if you let go early, he'll wake up, he'll wake up so much faster. Alright. Oh. Drag him here and dislocate his elbow. Hmm. <sighs> These guys' faces kind of remind me of uh, J.C. Denton in a way. You know, ah, there we go. Just a little bit of J.C. Denton. I'm thinking about doing a playthrough of Deus Ex, maybe the original game, or maybe Human Revolution, since I. Recently got the uh, the director's cut, but I haven't really had the time to play through it. Uh, been too busy doing adult things like uh, trying to <laughs> get a job that doesn't involve uh, asking people if they want fries with that. Uh, so anyway, uh, as the grocery boy uh, takes. I guess one of the ways you can sneak your weapons into the into the the mansion is you can put your guns in the grocery boy's packages, but that just leaves the problem of having to sneak into the kitchen afterwards to get them, which is goddamn near impossible as far as I can tell. 
So anyway, as usual, you don't want to run, because if you run, well, except for now, if you run, people will freak out and start shooting. Alright, so these two guys on the right are the Dawn's son and his bodyguard. The bodyguard has uh, an interesting item on him, but it can, be get, it can be gotten somewhere else, so we can actually just leave those two guys alone. Now, you can't sneak up here as the grocery boy if you want to. Um, of course, you do have to be careful that the Dawn's son and his bodyguard don't see you. So, I would have had to have wait, waited a little while. Um, if I wasn't dressed as a bodyguard, which I am right now. Right, so the Dawn should be up here in this room. This is where he goes when he's not on the balcony practicing his swing. Oh, those lily pads growing in that pool. It's kind of gross. I haven't cleaned it in a while, huh? Well, is he in there? Hello, Da. Oh, there he is. That big fat motherfucker. We're gonna choke the shit out of him. Alright. Alright, he's turned back to his table. He's not really doing anything at all. He's just kind of staring at the table. He doesn't, even have a, he doesn't even have a chair. He doesn't even have a goddamn chair. Alright, so I think I heard a guard yelling at me because he saw me take out the fiber wire, but fortunately nothing comes of that, so no need to worry. There we go. Yeah, die, you bastard. That's what you get for punching father so-and-so in the stomach. I don't like that. You guys remember that, right, in the last video? You punched him in the stomach. I don't like that. So anyway, now that we've got the room key, we got to find the room. And the room is down the basement. That's where that's where our friend, the Catholic priest, should be. But before we go there, i got to pick up something. It's going to help us escape in a more stylish fashion. And here I am, fucking up. All right. Let's go back up here and try again. We're actually looking for a car key. It's stuck in that, that uh, tree. I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be there or if it's just kind of a little Easter egg that... There we go. I mean, who would stash a car key in a tree? Maybe, maybe that's a thing? I, I don't know. But anyway, like I said before, the other way to get the key is off the Dawn Sun's bodyguard. And... Uh, eh, killing him kind of brings up a lot of problems, so I just figured I'd avoid that. Alright, let's get down here and save our friend. And oh, Diana, what a surprise. No one's fucking in there. Him. 47, this is Diana from okay. Agency. You're probably right. Recent satellite footage suggests a priest being dragged along by four bearded Russian-looking types in uniform. What the fuck? Da Ugh. Seriously? The princess is in another castle, people. You know, Diana, you could have said something before I snuck in here. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of trouble. So, unlike blood money, you don't have to bother getting your suit back when you leave. Which is what we're about to do. That guy has a bad habit of waking up and alarming everyone, but he didn't do it this time, so that's good. I guess I was fast enough. And here's our sweet ride. But before we leave, I gotta call attention to the sniper rifle here. Now, this is another way you can kill the Dawn. Um, but it's very loud, and you also have to sneak up to him without getting caught after you kill him. So, it's not really the best way to do it, but uh, it is satisfying to snipe him. So anyway, let's get out of here. Huh, apparently they they have a foreign car because it's on the left side. It's weird. I mean, Italians do drive on the right side of the road, right? Which means the steering wheel's on the right. Okay, so we got Silent Assassin here, which means we got the two silver ballers suppressed. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed it before, but the silver ballers we did have didn't have the classic silences on them. So... Yeah. Those will be very useful. Let's take a look at those now. Now that we're back uh, at the church. Okay. There we go. Ballin' with our silver ballers. Let's take those out. Nice. Pew, pew, pew. 
and the silences themselves are also silver. That's pretty cool. And here's the the uh, the sniper rifle we took out. I'm not really sure if I'll ever use it since. Uh, yeah. What? Oh, the pigs! The pigs are back. Uh, I told you they'd be back to life. Let's kill them again. I'm Nick Meister, and this is Let's Play Hitman 2: Silent Assassin. Uh, someone just saw me. Oh, oh, okay. oh right. now they both saw me. Here he comes. I want you to oh look at the pig. Uh, uh, sure, I understand perfectly. What do you think will happen? I was just leaving. I'll be very now, or you'll be dead. Oh, now, sure. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Come on, stupid. Danny's gone. Shut up, huh? What the hell? You don't have to be so hostile. Let me introduce you to my two friends, Kenny 